What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Today I'm finally bringing you guys stuff for level 100 of the brand new Pirate King Adventures against Whitebeard. Uh, I would obviously would love to have gotten this out sooner. However, I actually was a little bit busy. I actually rearranged my setup a little bit where I'm at right now. So we uh, we have a bit of a different setup and uh, took a little bit of time to get that sorted. But here we are with PKA level 100. And the first team that you're seeing here obviously is with the max boost with... A full team of the like basically having the best scenario possible this is the recommended team that they want you to use to beat this content now I actually hadn't read up on the level 100 gimmicks before you know I actually got to it and after getting to it and actually seeing what this content involves it's a very annoying pirate king adventures mainly due to the fact that the recommended team that they give you and then the gimmick that occurs on the final stage with Whitebeard where he inflicts you with the special limit debuff where you can only use one special on the final stage and considering the fact that this boss has a lot of HP and he also puts up a defensive effect and also has a gimmick where if you activate any orb changing mechanics he not only removes your beneficial effects but also inflicts you with uh, five turns of attack down it's just a lot to get through with only one special however the way that you're supposed to get around it is by activating a bunch of different specials here on stage four which will be against Marco and then carrying those buffs into the next room via using the Kinemon special who extends the duration of attack and color affinity buffs and then when you reach the final stage when you actually use the switch effect of Zoro and Sanji being their super switch they combine into that dual form they give you the full board of tandem slots which remember when you use the special ability of Roger and Whitebeard they actually can't change tandem slots so by having those tandem slots, you have them locked from using the EX Super before using the Super Switch of Zoro and Sanji. When you use Zoro and Sanji special, they not only buff the attack and all boosts, they'll give you massive chain buffs, but they'll also give you the ability to remove the six turns, well actually it's seven turns total of defense up and damage threshold, which are two of the different defensive buffs that occur on the final stage. So they basically build this content around Zoro and Sanji, as well as also Roger and Odin. Not having Yamato isn't the end of the world. While Yamato has uh, some very useful mechanics, this content is not built around this unit really as much as it is with Roger Odin having that captain ability to resist despair and also being able to activate their Rush Sugo special and with their EX Super giving you Wano slots and stuff like that and also Zoro and Sanji for being absolutely amazing for that final stage. Yeah, it's not really built around using Yamato all that much, honestly. And as I said, the fact that you get given the special limit debuff whilst the whole batch doesn't even have the potential ability to remove it, it's a little finicky for sure because it means if you're trying to use all of these max boosted characters, you're inflicted with this debuff and if you're missing a couple of key characters, it can definitely make things a little bit difficult. So in this video, here is the max booster team. We also have another team coming up very shortly, which is going to be using Zoro and Sanji as the main captain. And we'll go through more information as uh, we get through that content in the next clip. But I'll leave you guys with the rest of this as we have the Max Booster team coming up against this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Moving on to the secondary team here, this is what we have. We're going to be using Zoro Sanji as our main captain, still going to be using Roger and Odin as the friend captain here. Now, of course, we want to be making sure that we get the super switch on the final stage. Now, Zoro and Sanji have a very unique mechanic, either as a sub or as a, or as a captain, 
where whenever you tap on them when they have a recovery or a tandem slot or a wano slot then they'll go ahead and charge their super switch gauge by one so ideally to make things a bit easier so you don't get mixed up is to not tap on them at all ideally that's the best way to get through it alternatively if you do tap on them with a tandem recovery or one or slot you need to get like another one or don't switch that turn just to ensure that you don't get you know the wrong amount of turns on your super switch gauge you basically want to make it so you leave stage three when zora was at uh, the, the two amount amount remaining on his gauge you're switching on stage three you switch on stage four and then you super switch on stage five that's the ideal way to get through it so long as you know zora and sanji are not tapped on with a wano slot we also have shanks on the crew he's going to be a really nice character to have giving us a big attack boost on stage number four he also gets rid of paralysis although we also have kinemon to help us with that too you see i am using the Kara and nami to get rid of bind and special bind so that's like a replacement that you could have instead of toki toki obviously is a better option but this is like alternate you know situations if you don't have the uh the toki you can use carrot nami there's a couple of other characters you can use there's not a big array of them uh vv rebecca dual unit is another character you can use v2 vv rebecca that is they also remove bind and special bind by themselves so that is another option you could think about we're also using law and robin because if you did pull on this sugo fest more often than not you would have probably pulled this unit um they help you deal with the uh the rainbow shield on this stage and they also give a color affinity buff which is very very nice uh, one thing to note as well that will make things a little bit easier for you in terms of damage is I would suggest to switch into Zoro before using the special ability of Kinemon because if you do that it will actually extend the duration of the attack and color affinity boost that is applied from uh, the rest of your characters on your crew so make sure to do that uh, you see that I use Kinemon before switching make sure to do it in the right way and of course we tap with the quick slasher units being law kinemon and roger so that we do really good damage against those three characters there reach the last stage now we can use the ex super make sure to use the ex super first of roger and odin and then we can use the super switch of zora and sanji so we get given the wano slots for our captains and then everyone else gets a tandem slot and then when we use roger and odin special on the revive they will not manipulate any slots which triggers the interrupt of, of white bid so it, it, that's the reason why we do it the way that we do and of course if you actually did it correctly you could have had um you know better buffs in this turn if you activated you know the right switches and stuff with kinemon on the previous stage but it is what it is this team still works out pretty well giving us great damage here on this stage and we do activate the rush sugo special on the revive and we use the ex super of zora and sanji on the revive because we need two pretty pretty big turns of buffs for this stage because we don't have a way to resist the removal of our beneficial effects so ideally you would see you would keep the ex super of zora and sanji which is the tap timing chain buff as well as the the odin and uh, roger special for the revive as well and as well as the rush sugo special keep all your hp do not use the rush sugo special in this stage because we have more than enough damage but then on the revive we can use the rush sugo but anyways that's going to wrap it up for me thank you so much for watching the video hopefully you enjoyed it if you guys did make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that guys i will see you guys within the next video